So, yeah, I wanted to just do a quick video here talking about this. Farming and agriculture and growing your own food and, you know, uh, planting seeds and getting all that stuff together. There's something that I found out that I didn't know before. I knew there is a lot that goes into that. But in order to run a bigger place, it takes a lot of stuff to do that. You know, it's not, it isn't an easy thing. And this is why most people don't do it because they don't either have the money, they don't have the vision for it, or they just don't think about it. There's some people that don't even think to do it for themselves. But I know if I was planting my own food and I lived on a property somewhere, I wouldn't even need to go out and sell the food. I wouldn't have to do what I do at this job, which I'm doing. I go out and I sell the food and I go to markets and get rid of it which isn't something that I honestly want to do. And I'm going to talk to the person at my job. I'm going to tell them if, you know, someone else can get hired in that position and either help me with it or, uh, I mean, I'll do it once in a while. I don't mind doing it once in a while, but it's something that I don't want to do all the time, you know. But, hey, if I have to do it right now to uh, live and survive, that's what I have to do, you know. But my problem is with me, and this is a me problem, is when I go to work or I go to jobs, I start this catastrophizing thing in my mind. I, I start thinking about the next day, even before the next day comes. And I'm thinking about the conversations before the conversations come. I'm thinking of the good mornings before the good mornings come. I'm thinking of everything that's going to happen that hasn't even happened yet. And this is a habit that I know it comes from it comes from fear and it comes from control and it comes from other things but I have a hard time especially if I'm not taking the medication I take because I depend on that it, it it's just it's that part is not fun for me you know and I really do I really do not like it uh, when I think like that and but I can't help it it's just how my mind is and I just really wish I knew of a way to have a healthy way of dealing with it but I haven't found that yet you know I, I know that I can talk and I can be honest about how I feel but then I, I feel like there will be that expectation for me the next time. So that's why I kind of keep some things to myself and I don't talk about it with other people. And I talk about it on here because I don't feel like I have anywhere else to talk about it. And I hate having to do that, but it's just something I have to do right now. If I get to know people better and stuff and I can actually say how I am and be comfortable, then that's great. But... I think certain things I just got to keep to myself. You know, certain things you just got to keep to yourself. But anyway, why I'm talking about this video is I know for myself, if I had my own land and I had my own little thing going and I had food and water, I wouldn't even need to go out and, you know, go to markets and sell my crop to other people I could live off that alone because I don't eat a lot as it is but the thing is is getting there that is the hard part the hard part is getting to the point where you have the seed planted and this is just me speaking for myself and and you know this could if if I ever do this this could take literally years you know this could take a long time uh, even if it comes into fruition and I'm still alive by that time. But 
It takes a lot more to get to that point, but people can do it. If, if there's someone out there that you have the money and you're tired of going to a nine to five job or you're sick and tired of the way that you're living, I'm telling you, this kind of work is very therapeutic. It's something that is very relaxing. When you're sitting there bagging up and and preparing and spraying off the food and getting it ready to eat and stuff it, to me it's therapeutic to me it's something that i really enjoy doing the thing that i don't enjoy doing but when you have a business running you know like the place that i go to is you have to go out and you have to sell the product you know you gotta go out and communicate with other people and you have to set up stands and you have to do that that's just what you have to do for the job do i like it not necessarily but it's almost like i think it's something right now that i need to be doing because i have gotten so used to being by myself I have got so used to being a recluse and isolating and getting away from everyone, it, it almost feels alien to me right now. It feels foreign. And I won't lie, it's nothing against the people where I work. It's nothing against anyone. It's just me. And when I feel like I can't really say what I need to say from a fear of, uh, having an expectation for me that I'm going to be that way all the time. That's kind of how it is. It's in order for me to start thinking differently, I have to do certain things and I just don't know if I can do that. And the things that I need to do, it's just very hard. It's, I just wish there was more people that when you say something, they just listen and go, okay, is that how you feel? All right, well, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Um, if you need to talk, okay, talk about it. It's, see, but, but the thing is with this day and age and with a lot of people, they always want to give you an answer with something. They always want to tell you, well, maybe you should or maybe you're doing too much or have you ever looked into this thing? See, I don't, I'm a person that that doesn't work for me. I don't need to hear that from anybody. All that I need to do is I need to discuss what is going on in this chaotic thing, this miserable thing, you know, this thing that's doing what it's doing. And I have to talk about it sometimes and I don't even want to talk about it but I kind of have to, and when I hold it in, I'll be catastrophizing on something that didn't even come yet. But yet, I feel like if I have to discuss this or I need that kind of outlet, I just don't feel as though I can be really honest with, with certain people, and that's very discouraging to me. Even though I know I can do that, I can tell people things and I can tell them how I feel and what's going on with me and, and all those things. But then I feel like there's always this expectation lingering or people will start viewing me in a different way. And then the next time they see me, they'll be like, oh, I know what he's going to say. You know, oh, well, you know, I know what he's thinking. Uh, what he told me the other day, is he still going through that? Do I need to help him with something? You see, th the way that my mind works, the way that my mind works is very strange, but I don't think it's strange. I just call it strange, but I don't think that it's strange. It's just the fact that sometimes being honest it almost causes more problems for you and other people sometimes. And when you got to keep it to yourself, like I got to keep certain things to myself, then it, 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 it makes me catastrophize more. It makes me 
uh, think of things that didn't even happen yet. And I'm, I'm focusing on those things and I'm thinking about the conversations and having to deal with people, places, and things. And how can you say that to people? How can you tell people like, I don't really want to do this. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just doing it because I need to work to get money to survive and help myself. I'm just here to work. I'm not really here to make friends. I'm not really here to get involved with all the, the extra stuff. I'm here to do the job. I'm here. If you need my help, I'll help. Um, if it, there's something that you might need to talk about for that day and talk about it, okay, talk about it. I don't care. I'm not going to have an expectation for you the next time. But I feel as though a lot of people, the way our world is set up, we feel like we always got to be putting up this image of ourselves, like I said in the last video. And it's something that I can't stand. I, I just, it drives me crazy. I don't like it. And I don't know. That's just where I'm at with this. So I'm going to end the video. I got to go. I'm probably already late here. But yeah, that's just a little on my mind. This is not impossible. It's just, it's hard to do. And I'm telling you for a lot of guys out there, and girls, I don't think we even understand that that kind of work you can actually take joy in. It can be something that you look forward to doing, uh, at least for myself it is. I, and I this just happened a little bit ago. I, I didn't even have this on my mind. I didn't even think of it. But I know for me, fruits and vegetables is going to be my future. If I get there, that's going to be some of my future is planting things and harvesting something and putting my time into that, putting my time into my craft and my art, because that's, like I said, that's all I really have left. You know, I live for three things, a healthy lifestyle, the arts and crafts and women. That's basically the only three things I live for. So I'll let y'all go. I got to go take care later.